Hi, my name's Rich and I'm with Cindy. We're on Legacy and at toitsea.com. This is really the second part in the video about making AT5 charts for SIMRAD chart plotters. And here I'm going to show how I use Google Earth and Google Earth history images, as well as some other things like MapQuest and uh, here and a few others as well. This is uh, Savu Savu Fiji, and Fiji is has really been difficult to get good satellite charts. This is Google Earth, and uh, you can see there's quite a bit of cloud cover there. But we can go to the historical imagery by going to View and checking historical imagery, and already it's better. It's not great, but it's better. And then we can click back through the time. Right now we're on August 28, 2018. But here, let's go back a little bit. No difference. OK, at least it's consistent now. Oh, cloudy again. OK, now we're all the way back to 2003, where things might not have uh, might not be the same even. So let's go forward a little bit. Cloudy. OK, this might be the best we can do for this area. And let's go all the way in and look at uh, a zoom level of about 18, which is about an eye altitude of a mile, about 5,200 feet, is zoom level 18. We can see bottom details there. This isn't really great. Stepping back through the history and forward, is there anything better there? Yeah, OK, well, this chart isn't consistent, but at least here we've got some detail of this, this uh, reef area that sticks out into the harbor. We go forward again. No, let's go back. OK, so if those were my only choices, that's what I would take for uh, the Google history. So make a note of that. March 17th, 2016. It's the US style dates, so it's month, day, year. Um, and you'll have to enter it differently on the download tool that we use. So, But make a note of that. The other thing we need to make a note of is the the coordinates of the chart we want to download, the upper left and the lower right. So let's make a note of the latitude that we want. So I just put the cursor there and then read the latitude and longitude from the bottom. Now, we want this in decimal degrees. So if it's not showing in decimal degrees, we can go to Tools, Options, 3D View tab, and then we can select how we want it. It's often degrees, minutes, and seconds, or degrees, decimal, minutes. We want de decimal degrees. So we click Apply, and OK, and we have decimal degrees here. So let's make a note of that. 16, it's minus 16 because it's south latitude, 0.773274, and 179.323119. Uh, and that's positive because that's east latitude. And then let's go down and take the lower right boundary of our chart. So let's go down to about here where the hand is, minus 16.779766 and 179.340284. Write those down because we're going to need those in the tool that we're going to use to download the satellite images. So that's it for Google Earth. That's all we need that for right now, to pick the uh, the historical imagery we want to get the best date and pick the latitude and longitude for our boundary box. Now let's open Google Earth Image Downloader. And this is a paid program. I think it's about $50 US. It's such a terrific program. Let's make a new directory. Just make it on the desktop here for our project. And let's call it Earth Demo. And then we're going to open a new task. We're going to go to the desktop. We're going to pick Earth Demo. And we'll call this Earth Demo in the file name box and open. So we have Earth Demo. And we're going to go here. We can select Google Earth Satellite Imagery, or we can select Google Earth Satellite Historical Imagery. So for this, we want the historical imagery. And now we want to enter our date. Year was 2016, and then we use a dash, and now it wants the month, which was March 03, and wants the date, which is 17. It wants the zoom level next, so let's go from 17 to 18. We'll look at both zoom level 17 and zoom level 18 and see which looks better. 
and now we've got to fill in the latitude and longitude. So 179.323119 and I can just tab over to the right 179.340284 and I could tab down to the top latitude which is minus 16 decimal 773247 and tab to the bottom latitude which is minus 16 decimal 779766. West is minus and south is minus. So this is east longitude and south latitude. And now we pick the directory where we're going to store this. And uh, that's the directory we just made, Earth Demo. We can select it here. And we click Start after we make sure we have a good internet connection because this is going to download the map tiles and away we go. Now this is a very small area. It's only downloading 36 images. And it'll often have errors. It'll show you errors and then it goes back and it uh, retries those tiles again. Tasks is stopped. It's all done. OK. Next step we're going to go to Tools and Map Combiner. And we're going to open that project we just made. We'll go to the desktop, and it was called Earth Demo. And we're going to open that Earth Demo GEID, Google Earth Image Downloader. OK, so it's going to fill in the Zoom for us. We, got, we collected Zoom 17 and Zoom 18. Let's make Zoom 17 first. Let's uncheck the TIFF, and let's make a JPEG. And let's combine those tiles. And now let's make zoom level 18. Same thing, create a JPEG file and combine. And it's a small area, it's already done. So we're done with that, we can close that, we can close this, and let's take a look and see what we have. Here's the Earth demo, and it's made a bunch of images for us. Here's our 17 JPEG. Let's open that up. That looks good, we can zoom in, we can look around, see what the quality is. Um, not very good, pretty pretty sketchy. Let's take a look at our 18 JPEG. Zoom in. And it's not wonderful, but it's not bad. Again, Fiji is a really difficult area. So we can use the 18. We got the whole thing. It got it's got all the tiles. We can use 18. What we can do at this point is we can delete all of the images except the JPEG and the JGW. So I'm just going to select everything here. I'm going to keep that and keep that and I'm going to delete everything else. So we just have the two images now. If we wanted at this point we could edit that JPEG as long as we don't change the zoom or the rotate or the scale that would make the chart inaccurate. The JGW is the world file. It's the location data or the geographical data for the uh, image. I'm not going to edit this. Let's just go on to the next step. Before we do that I just want to point out that on our website there's a PDF file with instructions for doing all of this. I've been pretty much trying to follow the steps. As a matter of fact, in the that I did Savu Savu as well. And uh, it goes through detailed steps. Let's see where we are now. Here you can see that uh, Zoom Level 18 didn't fill in very well. It was missing a bunch of tiles. So I ended up using Zoom Level 17 for that area. Um, now we're at the point where we're going to use Insight Map Creator to create the AT5 chart. So let's do that. We'll open Insight Map Creator. I'm going to close that window. And there we have Insight Map Creator. We're going to go to View, Processing Mode, and Raster Mode. Before when we did this with SAS Planet, we went to Keyhole Mode to create the JGW file. We already have it, so we don't need that now. Add Folders. We're going to go to the Earth Demo folder that we just created and we made the image for. A, B, C, D, Earth Demo, and choose that, just the folder. We don't need to choose a file. Minimum resolution, I'm going to make 1, and maximum resolution, I'm going to make 32. We've got to create a working directory, so let's go back to Earth Demo again. And I'll just make a folder here called Working, and choose that. 
And we have one more step here. In Advanced Options, Atlas Option, I'm going to go to Atlas version 13 for my NSS EVO 3 chart plotters. Other chart plotters may need an earlier Atlas version. I'm also going to select an Atlas description. So I'm going to type in capital M equals, and I'll call this Earth Demo. This is the name that the chart plotter will display when you select the chart. So we'll close that, and we select Build, and that's it. Now this won't take very long, it's a very small area, but it can take quite a while. It's already done. We can close this, it'll ask us if we want to save it, we don't need to. And let's see what's in our directory now. In the working directory are bound AT5s, and here are the zoom levels we created. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. If we put those on the SD card and look at the previous video, or the PDF for the directory structure, put that in our chart plotter and select that chart, we'll see just what we had here, just what we created. And uh, there's a demo of how to view those charts on the chart plotter in the previous video. Now, before we quit, I want to do one more thing. I want to talk about using Universal Maps Downloader to download other sources. Universal Maps Downloader is another paid program, same people that wrote uh, Google Earth Image Downloader. Uh, really terrific program and very, very flexible. I use it to get um, charts from MapQuest and from some other sources. Let's take a look at MapQuest, though. We can just go online, and here's the Savu Savu area. Look at the quality of that compared to what we just got. We can zoom way in here. See, pretty amazing quality, pretty good details. There's a little bit of uh, reflection on the surface of the water here, but you can still see the bottom details. So this is better than what we just did. Let's get this. So this is MapQuest. Let's open Universal Maps Downloader, and it's going to look really familiar to you. We'll make a new task. We'll open the task, and we'll make it in the Earth demo again, and we'll call it uh, MQ Savu Savu and open that. We're going to use, we can select any number here, but we want MapQuest satellite. Uh, here is often very good, and we're, let's take zoom level 18 for this. We can use the same latitudes and longitudes we entered before. We want the same area, so I'll skip through entering all of those. We select the folder, Path to Save. It's in our Earth demo again. Make sure you have a good internet connection and click Start. Now, in this case, we have 78 tiles that we're downloading. Again, every once in a while, it'll say error, but don't worry, it's going to go back. There's one. It'll go back and try to re-download those. This is almost the identical process to what we did with the Google Earth. And that's it. It's done. So we're going to go to Map Combiner. We're going to open that same MQ Savu Savu. We only want to create a JPEG and combine them. Again, in this small area, it's really fast. Let's see what we have. We can quit out of this. We can look at the folder. And MQ Savu Savu combined. It's in a directory called combined this time. We can take a look at the JPEG. And there it is. It's complete. It downloaded all the tiles. It's got beautiful detail. Look at that. There's a little shallower area you could anchor in there. You can avoid this point and not hit it. There's the commercial wharf. Great details, better than uh, the Google Earth historical imagery. Again, you could edit this at this point and enhance the colors, just don't change the size. From here, you do the same thing. We're going to keep the JPEG, the JGW. You can delete the rest, then go to Insight Map Creator and build the AT5 files. I think that's all I'm going to show you here. I think uh, with these tools, you can figure out how to do the rest. On our website, there's a, a directory of what tools I use for what maps and links to those tools. Uh, I hope uh, this works out well for you. It's your turn now. Thanks for watching, and happy boating.